Poppy Playtime. Chapter 3 ended with Kissy Missy being attacked and I think either the prototype, Boxy Boo, or Huggy Wuggy did it. Let me explain. Let's start with the idea that the prototype did it. We know that there are no more obstacles to the prototype in Chapter 4 after we killed Big Scary Garfield, which means that Kissy's attacker being the prototype makes the most sense over most other options. But that begs the question of why the prototype would go after Kissy and not us. Well, I believe that the prototype cannot psychically harm us or Poppy, because if he could have, he would have by now. Instead, he is just watching us, but dragging Kissy to a new location would bring up a new threat, which would make it to where we could die. That also raises the question of why can't he harm us? Well, I think that Poppy has some sort of connection with the prototype in the sense of possibly a parent-daughter relationship, and if not, that then some sort of programming thing in the prototype's brain. I mean, think about it. If the prototype isn't attacking us or Poppy directly but is putting us in harm's way, then there must be something that is preventing him from catnapping us, which could be some sort of programming the scientist put in him while he was being experimented on in the labs. Other than this though, it could be the prototype because he could just be trying to collect every toy in the factory to get more power. I mean, think about it. He could just be using us as a guinea pig to see which toys are the strongest and worth being separate from the collective consciousness, that is the prototype. Why would he kill Catnap only after he already knew he was going to die? I mean, think about it. Also, what further backs this up is the prototype VHS tape, which says this. Today's discovery. <laughs> End of log. Ready to talk now, are you? I possess a question. Go ahead. Do you do you anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us. Beat us. Tear our flesh. Do you feel it? There is a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak, or don't. Fight, or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. It excites me. Thank you. You thank me? Absolutely. I learn something new about you every day. This is a guarantee that the prototype is a bunch of collective toys and shows how he could also be possibly experimented on enough to possibly change his brain programming. But other than that, that's all the evidence we have of the prototype. Another reason could possibly be that the developers want to release more chapters and make more money by no instantly taking us down to the prison. The next candidate for Kissy's killer is Boxy Boo. Boxy Boo at first sounds a little bit strange, but I think that it has the highest probability possibly. I mean, think about it. Boxy Boo is the one character in the Hour of Joy VHS tape that was not accounted for and also is the only toy that is not in Poppy playtime yet. Not just that, it would make sense of why Kissy is screaming because Boxy Boo is extremely ruthless as seen in the VHS tape. I also think it's Boxy Boo because leading with the prototype theory from earlier, he could have sent Boxy Boo as a final hope on stopping us before he had to intervene himself like Thanos. Not just this, but we know that Mob Entertainment wants to take Poppy playtime in a more scary direction compared to Chapter 1 and 2. Our brains are naturally scared of things that can kill us and things that can hurt the body with absolutely no remorse. An example of this would be a bear. Everyone is scared of bears when they see one in the wild because it will kill you. Think of Boxy Boo like a bear. That kind of fear that our brain lets off is initial fear that allows us to activate fight or flight and stuff like that, making the game even more terrifying than before. Boxy Boo, paired with the genius of the prototype behind him, would be absolutely terrifying. Another reason why it might be Boxy Boo is because it's very easy to use him in the game, because they already have assets for Boxy Boo. Not just this, it would build up hype for Project Playtime and make that game relevant again. They would do this because Project Playtime is the only way Mob can really make an infinite amount of money off of Poppy Playtime because eventually, Poppy Playtime is going to run out of chapters to release then what are they going to do? And another thing about Boxy Boo is that he is red, just like the subscribe button that you should click right now. And while you're at it, click that like button too. That concludes my case for Boxy Boo. 
so let's move on to Huggy. Before you start yelling at me in the comments, look, Huggy is genuinely a possibility because of greed. Think about it. Huggy has gotten Poppy Playtime the most amount of views and likes out of every other antagonist, and Huggy is their most marketable mascot. So, Huggy coming back in a new way might actually be a genius decision for Mob to make, judging by how they already have a captivated audience from Chapter 3 and would want to keep them in. This could be done by making Huggy a villain that can think much like Kissy, and one that we will have to worry about more than we have before. Giving Huggy more screen time could also boost views and bring old players back to the game to make fun of it, but then they would actually see that it's a great game. Not just this, but there is evidence that Huggy is alive because we technically didn't see him directly die. The most we saw of our Huggy was in Chapter 2 when we saw Blood and Blue Fur on a vent. And you might be saying we see him on the prototype idol. Well, we also see Kissy on there too, so I think that there are multiple copies of the toys, just like how there are multiple copies of the Smiling Critters on the idol as well. Other evidence that would support Huggy would actually lead me into the final theory, which is that the whole kissy being attacked thing is a hoax made by Poppy. This sounds very outlandish, but hear me out. Poppy already manipulated us beforehand to stay in the factory and help take down the prototype, but Poppy makes it clear that now Catnap is dead, there's no more obstacles to the prototype, so we are kinda used up. She can use the people for this. Not just this, but Kissy would have gladly ripped our head off if it wasn't for Poppy suspiciously showing up at that exact moment to stop her, which is weird and almost like it was planned. Not just this, but the way Poppy talks to us at the end of Chapter 3 is very suspicious. She says that we just have to go down and save people, and that there's one thing she didn't tell us, but then so randomly Kissy starts dying and we have to go back up while she says this, want a part of the plan. This is extraordinarily suspicious because number one, why is she talking about a plan? And number two, we know that she is a manipulator and would gladly take us down for her own benefit so she would use manipulation tactics like that. So, you might be asking what does Huggy have to do with all of this? Well, if we look at the music video that was released on the Mob Entertainment channel, we see an actual backstory of the play care and everyone in it. In this video, however, we see Huggy and Kissy on a little date in the play care perfectly fine and in harmony. This could mean that they are all in on it. I mean, think about it. Huggy chased us down specifically the poppy flower where Poppy was located and also for some reason is still alive and went through a place that he already know would lead him to safety. So, we know that Huggy is our guy now and is working with Kissy and Poppy to take us down with manipulation. So what now? Well, I think that this could actually bring the game into two more routes. The first more boring route is that after we raise up in the elevator with Poppy, we see Kissy being dragged away by one of the aforementioned antagonists that would drag her all the way either to the prison, labs, or innovation station, and we would have to kill or weaken the villain to save Kissy and go on to chapter 5. The second more interesting route is that we rise up in the elevator with Poppy and see Kissy being dragged away by Huggy. Huggy makes us go far throughout the factory until we hit a dead end, where Kissy gets up and Poppy, and Kissy pushes us into a hole leading to the prison and they say that they don't need us anymore. After we go in the prison, which seems to be a very dark, creepy place, much like where we saw Dog Day, but with much more solidified stone walls, like how we would see in a game like Angry Birds 2 for the iPad Touch 2013 version, then we would battle our way through broken toys to get back to Poppy and get our revenge. Another possibility with this is the prototype actually helping us and explaining the real lore of the Hour of Joy and everything that actually went down. But past that, there's nothing else to say. Subscribe, or else no. Chapter 4.